You know, I've had a lot of fun with the Olympus E-Volt E510. I did a review a while back, I believe it was the E400, and uh, that one was took some really great pictures, but I did mention that it was, uh, for my hands, the grip was a little hard to hold on to. Well, this one is a little larger and has a much better grip, plus it takes amazing pictures. I think that one was an 8 megapixel. This one is a 10 megapixel, and the, uh, the sensor that's on the inside of here, it captures so much color and so much uh, clarity. I was actually surprised because usually when I see a small camera, I think, oh, it's a small camera. How could it take that good of a picture? Well, this one did a really good job. And in fact, I mean, the, take a look at this picture on the screen right here. As you can see, initially, it captures a lot of uh, a lot of color. So I wanted to take some pictures of gra graffiti to show it off. I figured, you know, hey, where more can you find color than uh, a graffitied up old building? Well, anyway, what comes in this kit? Well, you have a couple lenses, so you have a huge range here. Now, they've given us the, the uh, Zuiko, I believe it's pronounced, maybe Zuiko, I don't know. But they're uh, Zuiko design lenses for the uh, Olympus camera. Now, we have a uh, 14 all the way up to 42 with this one. That's the zoom on this one. And I found this lens to be incredibly sharp for a kit lens. Uh, typically, uh, lenses that come in kits uh, usually leave a little to be desired. Uh, this one I found to be sharper than most kit lenses and also it's nice that the uh, the maximum aperture is all the way down at 3.5 most kit lenses are around four or so so that's nice it comes all the way down to 3.5 soaks up a little bit more light and uh, is able to take some great pictures with some nice depth of field as well uh, another the nice thing about this in the kit they've also included this lens now this is a zoom lens this one goes from 40 uh, all the way up to 150 so as you can see here and uh, let me show you how this zooms it, you know, it's pretty compact when it's all the way down, but then when you zoom all the way out, yeah, that's uh, that's nice. So it's really nice that they've included this. You have the lens hoods for both, and that's going to uh, stop any lens or any uh, you know the flare. Sometimes you see the uh, to get the pictures that are uh, overexposed on the corners, or you have a, a flare of sunlight coming through the picture. Well, having this nice large uh, lens hood on there uh, helps ensure that that's not going to happen to you. So there we go. There's the lens kit. Now let me talk about what's cool about this camera. Well, right off the bat, you have a lot of cool features. You have 28 different modes that you can, that you can shoot with. Uh, you have an image stabilizer, and this is actually a sensor shift stabilization unit. So in darker environments, the, uh, there's actually an element in there that floats to counteract the natural shake of your hands. That also helps a lot when you zoom to make sure the pictures stay nice and clear. Uh, one thing that I really like about this, well, let me turn this around. Look at this, on the LCD, that's live view. That's something that you don't usually see uh, with an SLR. Now, when you're looking through the viewfinder, it's not digital. It's a true SLR. You're actually seeing through the lens. But in live view mode, here's the way it works. It actually closes the shutter. So the shutter is closed down. And then say if you want to uh, change something, if you want to change the light, it actually gives you a live preview of how, the, how it's going to look. So I'm going to I'm going to up the uh, shutter speed here and see how it's giving me a preview of how the image is going to look. It's going to be a little overexposed. Turn it back down. Yeah, it looks a little better. It actually gives you a preview of how the shot's going to look. And then when you take the picture, it takes it a second, it, and then it snaps. So it does take a little longer to take a picture that way, but it's really cool to be able to uh, you know, see what you're going to take before you're going to take it and even see how it's going to look in, with the different settings applied. So that's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Ah, uh, no card! Uh, speaking of card, it takes a compact flash and it also takes uh, XD, so you have your choice of card there, compact flash or SD, type 1 and type 2 for compact flash. So that's cool that they've allowed you to use both the different types of cards. All right, let's go shoot through some of the uh, features and settings here. Now uh, in automatic, it did take great pictures. I typically shot in the uh, P mode that, that allows you, it's like an automatic mode. Uh, it's like an automatic mode with access to uh, more settings and features. We have aperture priority and shutter priority. And we also have the uh, full manual there, so you can pick any, any of those. Uh, now, if you're someone who's worried about shooting in dark light, don't worry, you can turn the ISO sensitivity all the way up to 1600, and it'll go as low as 100. So, that's all the different settings there. Uh, we have portrait mode here, we have uh, landscape, um, close-up mode there. So we have several different modes here, and, and take a look at this. When you switch it all the way over to the uh, scene modes, we've got about 18 more modes that show up here on the back of your uh, camera, let you pick a mode, and each one of these modes actually changes the settings of the camera as far as the shutter and the aperture and even changes uh, the white balance and, and that sort of thing. So, And it'll even tell you what each mode is good for. Nature, macro, best for close-ups. See, it, it tells you all these different modes, candle, sunset, and then it gives you a description here. It really helps you 
learn how to how to one use the camera, and also these things are going to take much better pictures in each different uh, you know in each different I guess environment or each different um, scenario I suppose is the word I'm looking for. See and just put it on this mode. Try out these modes. Use these modes, and you'll take better pictures all the time. And then you might even learn how to do these yourself with the manual features, and then you can get really creative. So that's really cool. All right, back around. Now that now we're on the back here. So let's take a look at some, what some of these buttons do here. Now it's cool that they've given us uh, separate buttons here uh, to pick your autofocus area. If you want it to be a spot in the center or left or right, you can do that. Uh, we also have a programmable function button here that allows you to, you know, you can pick whatever your favorite setting is there and you can place it right there. Uh, we have a button for the image stabilizer. You can turn it on a couple different modes there. We also have a, uh, the button there that's for live view. Turn that back off. That's the auto exposure lock there. We have a button for your Y balance, that's really handy. We have a button here for the, the metering. You can tell it, uh, you know, how to, how to, where to sense the light from. Uh, 49 different areas, 49 point metering. That's nice. Uh, also, we got the auto. You can pick the auto focus. You can different types of auto focus. You can do a constant auto focus. Uh, there's several several different types here. I'm not going to th go through what what all these mean, uh, but you have a lot of different options uh, with the auto focus. You can do this one's a. Uh, you can do autofocus plus manual focus. So after it focuses, you can even fine tune it. So that's something cool. Most cameras don't let you combine autofocus with manual. This one does. And there's also a button for ISO, and it's all right here at your fingertips, which makes everything very easy uh, to access. And it's a very easy to use camera in general. Uh, in the menu here, you can really get creative and uh, you know set all the different settings. And I'm not going to go through this because it's, it's going to be even more in depth than I'm going right now, and that'll probably put you guys to sleep. So, uh, but you can change the quality and uh, pretty much all the other settings, white balance and uh, even, well, just about everything. Okay, over on this side, this button actually brings up your different shooting modes. You press that, it lets you do a burst mode, and uh, this one will take three frames a second for up to six frames. So, two seconds worth of burst. Uh, that's shooting on the highest quality raw images. It also lets you do a timer as well. So we can do that. And also down here, that is an optional remote that you can get. You can get a remote for this, put it on a tripod and uh, use it that way. So that's cool as well. Uh, the other button up on the top is the uh, button to bring up the flash. Whee! And this does have a uh, red eye reduction as well. So there you go. Just took a picture of you guys. I'll email that to you. There, and you'll see yourself looking at me. And it's interesting. You guys didn't even know they had that technology. That's how nice this camera is. Now, uh, this one really does compete well with the uh, Canon 40D. And uh, this one actually has some features that the 40D does not have, like that image stabilization. That's the one thing that this one has uh, that the Canon does not. The Canon, they rely on you picking up very expensive lenses that have the, uh, the shift technology built into the lens. Well, this one, it's built into the camera, so any lens you pick up is uh, going to be stabilized. So that's a really, really huge bonus. And uh, also the fact that it's smaller, it's extremely lightweight. Uh, you know, I've got a huge SLR and I pulled this out of the box and, and my wife was like, ooh, it's like my size. And I was like, well, you know what? It fits really well in my hand. And this is something that I would definitely uh, use on a shoot. I would definitely uh, take this and use it for landscape photography, for portrait photography. And it's small enough that it's not gonna, I mean, it's small enough and it takes good enough pictures that you know, I can really justify using this in any number of applications. Uh, plus the fact that it's an Olympus and these guys make some really good quality lenses and just in general, good quality cameras. So uh, the Olympus Evolt 510, it's an amazing camera uh, for the size and the amount of features that they've packed into this, you cannot go wrong. And especially with this kit, it covers the range of 14 all the way up to, uh, to 150. So a great kit, great range from Olympus. For more information on the Olympus Evolt E510 with 14 to 42 millimeter and 40 to 150 millimeter lenses, go to CompUSA and type 083-1038 into the search box, or call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.